In this video, I'm going to talk about inbox view within Dynamics 365 customer service application. Now, what I mean by inbox view is say, if you navigate to Outlook application, now Outlook application has a typical interface. So if you see over here on the left-hand side, you have a navigational pane whereby you can navigate to a specific area. Then you navigate to a specific content and then you actually view the content, okay? So there are three uh, levels over here. So let me show you this way. So from here, if you click on inbox, then you can see all the emails coming in the inbox. And if you click on this record, then you will see the preview. So so example, if I click here, then I this preview changes, right? So it, it takes the context of this email. Now on a similar term, if you navigate to Dynamics 365, say customer service hub app, and if you pick up say one of the list, say one of the table, which is a contact table. Now, if I click on one of the contact over here, I can see something called as a record set. So if I click on open record set, I will be able to navigate sequentially to all the contacts in my application. So I can click here, I can click there, and I'll be able to see the record accordingly. But this is, a record set this is not something kind of an inbox view although it has that similar depiction but this is different now in order to take uh, advantage of the inbox view you need to navigate to not to the customer service hub but you need to navigate to something called as a customer service workspace app which has a multi-session customer service uh, application with productivity tools so if you click on customer service workspace which is opened over here then you will see something called as an inbox okay now here i can minimize this so that i can get a real a good real estate and here if you click on my work items then you will be able to see all the uh, cases here in this context so if i click over here i can see the cases related to this particular inbox view item so this is so if I click here, then I'll be able to see other cases and even I can categorize it. So if you see here, if I want to see what was the cases which came yesterday or last week or month. So this is kind of like typical, like an outlook view, right? Like even in outlook, you have something called as this week and last week and you know, this month. So similarly, we have a similar interface within Dynamics 365 customer service workspace. And this is how you get those listed over here. So it's a nice way of navigating to the system. So first level, if you want to click, uh, see what was the closed work items, you can click over here and then further it can get categorized based on the time. And if you navigate back to my work item, it will show you all the work items related to a uh, specific uh, date. Okay. Now, what all things you can do you can search from here so if i click here i can search by some keywords so the moment i type internet it will only give me records related to internet okay let me see if i put say test there are no record related to test if i type in say info then i can see info uh, items which has info word in it will be visible now info is related to subject line info is related to the customer name so it searches on all the parameters now other things what you can see over here is there is an option called as mark as unread so if you think that hey you have read this case and if you want to come to this case maybe tomorrow again revisit that then you can mark this case as unread so that now it is bold so it, it gives you a clear indication that hey uh, this is something kind of a new uh, so let me again go back and revisit it so the moment you click on any of the record the uh, the bold item turns into you know in the normal font right so again you can mark this as unread you can mark it as red you know so like this you can do so like how you usually do in outlook right so it's similar kind of a view uh you can expand and collapse the time factor okay also if i close this i can even filter out filter and sort so if i want to filter by unread items so unread item will be listed first if i want to filter by red items so it will be uh, listed accordingly and if i want to say filter by say customer 
even I can do that. So there's no specific customer over here. It's just I and G and A, okay? But uh, it has filtered by, you know, like specific customers. So now this customer is info. Uh, so that's why it's stored under I. This is adventure work. So that's why you see A and then G. Uh, so that this is a customer named as Gereshopal. Okay. So that's why this is classified as IGA. Now, what are the other things you can do in filter? You can sort by ascending and descending order. Now, other thing to remember, the difference between the record set and this is in record set, you can just view it. You can't do further action on this particular pane, right? Now here in customer service workspace, let's have a look into this. If you click on this and you can collapse and expand, you can collapse and expand further. Okay, so you get a good real estate. Now, if you see the screen, just watch over here you know, this area, there is something called as tab over here, tab. So you can add a tab for that view, okay? You can add multiple tabs. So let's let's start doing that. If I click here, I can add a tab. And now these all things can be configured accordingly, okay? So if I want to see a dashboard in one of the tabs, if I want to see historical insights in one of the tabs, if I want to see queues in one of the tabs, so I can do that, you know? So now, Remember, again, it's an interesting concept over here. Against a case, I have created all these tabs, okay? Now, it takes the context of this case. So now this case has four tabs attached to it, okay? Now, what happens if you click here? Will that four tab be available? No, okay? So if you click here, you don't see that tab. So for every record, you can configure the tab. So for this, maybe if I just want to see only queues, for this, maybe I just want to see only omni-channel real-time dashboard, okay? Now, like this, if you see, all the records are different, different tab. Unlike uh, in other application whereby if you open the tab for one of the record, it will be applicable for all the record, but this is context specific, okay? So once you're working on this case, you can open multiple tabs, work on it, and then once that is done, you can go ahead and close the record. Now here, if you click on this button called as open a new session, what it will do, it will open this case is a specific record in a new session. So let me expand this and show it to you. Now here you have home, you have inbox. Now we have gone into inbox and say, let's assume we go to ticket 00B. And if I want to open a new session, the moment I click here, what will happen over here is one record will get added over here. Okay, So let me click this. Again, if I go to inbox, if I click on info over here and click on add a new session. So like this, I have different, different session now opened. So inbox holds all the tickets uh, or the cases. And here I've opened a specific session. Now, if I go into this session, I can create further tabs, okay, from here. So I can create further tabs. I can uh, see whatever tab I want for that specific case. Again, if I go back to inbox, if you see here in info queue, we have already added so many tabs, right? Four tabs for this record. Let's add, open it in a new session. Once I open this in a new session, then you can see over here that those tabs are available over here okay so that means for every session every session you will have a different different tab so take for example for this ticket if i just put cases and say queues as the tab and if i open this in a new session then you will see that over here for this particular record you don't see that tabs opened okay so what what is the outcome of that is if you open this in this view, you know, in this view for this specific record, say this particular record, okay, if you open it in an inbox view and if you have opened tab number one, two, three, and now if you go ahead and open it in a new session, okay, so I clicked on here, I opened it on a new session. Here, that tab value will not be carry forwarded. You need to manually create something over here, right? So like this, this is how the logic works for the inbox view. So it's a bit tricky, but once you start using it, you will really like uh, the navigational part of it as it is quite uh, gelled with the Outlook interface. 
and you can get your things done in a quicker amount of time and at the same time you can prioritize you know what ticket which ticket you want to work on and accordingly open the session and once your ticket is resolved or closed then you can close the session accordingly okay so this is like kind of a workspace for you to play around uh, and resolve the cases and once your work is done you can just close the session okay so for this case i can click on open a new session again if i want to work on this case i will open a new session and once my work is done i'll just click on close and the session is closed so that's it folks this is all about inbox view within dynamics 365 customer service workspace thanks for watching